Okay, y'all, we're about to leave. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We got our money tree. We got the money tree. I'm going to think of a name for it. I'm thinking Georgia. Okay. I'm thinking Georgia. Okay. So we're going to get on the road, y'all. And we got to do some stuff, but see y'all back in Florida. Okay. Hi, may I have a large French vanilla iced coffee with cream and sugar, a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant sandwich. Large iced coffee, cream, sugar, French vanilla, sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. What else Can I have a large iced matcha latte with light ice and three pumps of vanilla? Okay. A can I? Okay. ringing out. You got it. Okay. Okay. And also, can I have a ice matcha with vanilla and sweet cold foam? What size? A medium. A medium ice matcha with cold foam. And yeah. You want it to be French vanilla too? Yeah. Okay. What else for you? Uh, that's it. Go around, please. You ordered it for her. Yeah. I said, I'm stopping at Dunkin'. Do you want anything? That was nice. Come on, you're so nice. I mean, you're so considerate, Shakira. I don't know where you got it from. Uh, I think you want. <laughs> I got a story for y'all when we have to get this food. You know what story? It's 2428. That was nice. That's hers. I can't ask you for it, Mama. So y'all, story time. One morning before work, was it raining? Or was it just dark? I can't remember. But one morning before work, I had came to Duncan. Oh, it was <laughs> raining. It was raining. And I came to Duncan and the guy that was working there, he like hands me the food and everything. And thank you. He handed me the food and I pull off and I remember that I forgot to pay. I never paid and then I felt so bad. So the next time I came, I was like trying to pay for the last time I came and the lady was so confused. Like I was telling her, you know, hey, I have been here before and I pulled off with the food without paying and I feel so bad. So here go the money. And she was just kind of like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, but I I was telling my mom about it because I felt so bad that day. It was raining. Yeah, raining in your mind everywhere. Mm -hmm. Thinking about trying to get to work and stuff. All right, y'all, we just left um, the basketball game and, oh, so I haven't updated y'all. We took a nap when we got off the road. <laughs> we were so tired. So we took a nap before the game, went to the game, good game, and now we are in the line at Chick-fil-A. She wants to try the peppermint milkshake uh, that they have here, it's like seasonal. And I'm probably gonna get a Oreo milkshake without a cherry, cause I'm not a fan of cherries. I love cherries. She loves cherries, my mom loves cherries. Um, I don't, what's a fruit you don't like? A fruit that I don't like. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the fruits I don't like. Really? Mm -hmm. Raspberry. You don't I, like raspberries? I do not like raspberries. I like raspberries. I like raspberries, blueberries, 
blackberries. Um, I'm not a fan of, well, of course, I can't have kiwi. I'm not a fan of cherries. I don't like cherries. Um, and I'm also not a fan of... Hmm, I think I like everything else that I've tried. I don't know if I've ever had papaya. Mm-hmm. As a child, I had it. I didn't like that either. No? Is it like a mango? It, it grows on a bush. That's all I could tell you. Oh. I really love pears. Guava. Guava. Oh, oh I don't like guava. Oh. I don't like guava. And coconut. I like not coconut. the... the like shell? the You don't like it in the shell? The water, like coconut water. Uh -huh. I don't like that. I don't the, care for the coconut water. Mm -mm. But I like the coconut. I tried it and I like mm -hmm. spit it out. <laughs> Everything else I'm pretty much good with that I've tried so far. Was that man saying it's going to be 10 degrees here? Mm-hmm. Y'all, if it hit 10 degrees in Florida, <coughs> it might snow. And if it snows, we're going to make snowmen. <laughs> <laughs> How much snow? You <laughs> it's going to be just enough to look at it. Okay. <laughs> to look at it falling. And milk. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, don't give me a y'all problem. Whatever y'all got going on, sure keep you. that in there. <laughs> keep that in there. All right, we are back. I don't think I. Oh my god, I lost my train of thought just that fast. What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Well, kind of forgot what I was gonna say, but I need to recurl my hair because they fail. Um, so I'll show y'all that on camera. Oh, I remember. So remember when um, I was trying to, I had bought like those screws on Amazon to fix my screen on my camera. It's gotten a little worse. So I'm trying to be extra delicate with it. I did find some screws, some replacement screws on ebay that i ordered and i think it won't get here until like december 19th to the 22nd i'm hoping it gets here because yeah i'm like scared that because there's like two screws one is completely on so there's like one holding it on there um but i'm just like trying to be delicate with it um so we're gonna curl our hair you can't see it oh you can kind of see it so like the stuff here um, and also like some bags on the floor are stuff that I had things that I had packed to come down here So I need to like put that stuff away like hang it up and all of that and like You know set stuff up in here because I hate digging through bags like oh, where's my bonnet? Let me dig through this bag or where is my brush? Let me dig through this bag. It's just easier for me to have stuff like out so I'm gonna do that and also um the lamp in not yesterday but the day before yesterday i think vlogmas when me and my mom went to ikea and we got this lamp i need to put this together tonight so this is the um thing and then this is the bulb itself so i'm gonna do that so we can get some more light in here so yeah hey google play scissors sos album i'm putting stuff up and i forgot that i never got my degree framed from FAMU so I need to do that while I'm home I have my FSU one framed so I want to get like this one framed too and maybe like down here like so like that or somewhere it got to be framed though I don't 
Hey Google, pause. So let's catch up. Um, let's see. So tomorrow is Saturday, which is my cousin's masquerade party that I was telling y'all about in a vlog, but I accidentally deleted it. So it's her birthday party. The theme is masquerade. Y'all saw um, the dress that I'm gonna wear, and my mom took it up um for me so that issue is fixed where the bow was like um where the bow kept like hanging in the front she fixed that um shout out to her thank you and here's my little iron i got this from walmart wally world um but yeah tomorrow's the masquerade party i somebody asked me I want to try to record my makeup for tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I if I get started early enough. If I get started early enough, I'll be able to do it. If I start too late, I won't be able to do it cuz then I'll be in a rush um to like hurry up and finish. So, I need to just time it right. I need to see what time the party starts first. Because if I start early enough doing my make doing my makeup, then I can record the um process which i hope i'll be able to do that um but yeah i'm excited i was talking to my mom earlier and let me know if y'all relate but i was telling her like this year like it's officially nine days to christmas right like today because today is the 16th and i was telling her like this year just doesn't feel very festive and i don't know if it's because like i know for us we have like annual hoo -hoo, annual events like around christmas time that we go to around the city like that have been going for years and years and years and for some reason this year um a lot of things are canceled people aren't doing them anymore events are virtual etc etc and so it's just like man so like the stuff that you would look forward to around christmas time is not happening right now so it just doesn't feel like very christmasy to me i don't know i don't know but i was watching this tiktok the other day where this guy was saying how you know a lot of people feel like oh it just doesn't feel the same and he was saying like when you were a kid you just kind of and it made so much sense he was like when you were a kid you showed up to school and like all of a sudden there were christmas decorations in the hallway and like your teachers were throwing these holiday parties for you and there were Christmas cookies and you woke up and the tree was up in your living room and like lights were up on people's houses. And as a kid, it's like, okay, Christmas is here. And it's like your indication that it's Christmas time. But when you grow up, you are the person, like when there were adults setting all that stuff up for you, when you're a kid, like now, you are the adult like setting that stuff up for kids now or like setting that stuff up for yourself so it kind of feels like it's lost some of its magic he used the word magic um it feels like it's lost some of its magic and i was just like okay maybe that's it like the wonder of it all is gone and he said it's like nostalgia when you think about it, it's like oh it just doesn't feel like it used to feel well it doesn't feel that way because you're now the person putting those decorations up you're now the person baking those cookies you're the person hanging those lights so that's why it doesn't feel like it did when you were a kid so i was like wow that's kind of spot on oh this is burning my fingers um so yeah i've been thinking about that ever since i saw that tiktok I'm like, is that why it doesn't feel the same? <laughs> I don't know. I've also been seeing this conversation over and over again about the city of Atlanta. And I think I mentioned this kind of in a vlog one day, but I was saying how um, oftentimes people, I see it a lot on TikTok. Um, and now I've seen like three videos, I think, on YouTube from three different creators talking about the city of Atlanta and how it's basically like, keeping up with the joneses and people feel like they have to have this and that to like um i don't want to say 
be in competition but like you have to have this and that to you and i don't want to say fit in either i don't know people just feel like they have to have the designer bags and the nice car and all of this stuff to like feel comfortable maybe in atlanta and it's a conversation that i was also having with my mom because i was telling her like um I just never felt that way like I never felt like and this is not me like oh I, I don't feel like that like no this I was just in awe of the fact that I didn't feel that way when I moved there maybe because when I moved there it was like feet to the pavement like work to do like literally I moved there on a Sunday Monday the next day I was in a program like for film and TV and then you know so i didn't have time to like be focused on what other people had going on i didn't have time to be focused on what other people were wearing or what they were driving and stuff like that and so i don't know i was like i don't know if that's the um kind of my saving grace i kind of just wanted to talk about that a little bit because i don't want people to ever feel like in order to be worthy of something or to be because the thing is right like what what is it like if you have these materialistic things what is the return on investment like is it status is it being included in like the in crowds is it just a, a nod like somebody seeing you drive a certain car and it's just like you know like that acknowledgement like what where does that stem from and what are you expecting in return for having those things if you see this bag that, and this is also not one of those like don't buy the thing kind of talks either so if you like something get it like if i like something and i have the money to get it and i feel like i deserve it i'll get it like yeah but like just getting things for the sake of acquiring things and collecting things because you see other people have them that's when it starts to become a problem and so you have to ask yourself like what is this rooted in and why do i want these things do i really want this or do i want this because i saw such and such with this like do i really like this car or does such and such drive this car or is this the car that i see other people driving around the city and now i want one um so i think that's the question and so i was like asking i was talking to my mom and i was just like you know it's kind of wild to me that so many people around atlanta have that mindset like oh i have to have these things to keep up and it's just like i don't feel like that first of all y'all know i be in the house <laughs> so maybe that's a factor too like i i be in the house like and when i'm not in the house i'm working or i'm like doing something um that i want to do like um i bought a museum pass because i really love going to the museum and in the museum i'm not looking at what kind of shoes somebody has on and i'm not looking at what kind of bag they have on i'm looking at the art because that's what i came there for and so i think it's important to first of all ask yourself the important question which is why do i want this and do i really want this but also like surround yourself with people who are like-minded in the in the sense that like they like the same things that you like they're on the same type of time that you're on and that's another thing like when i'm working like i'm working around people who are also like who are goal oriented and who know that this is not the end all be all and you know they have a goal in mind they have a career that they're trying to pursue and I just thank God that like he aligned me with people like that who are that reminder like I don't feel like I have to keep up with them like I don't feel like oh she has this bag so I need this bag like I don't feel like that you know I hope this makes sense at the end of the day I'm always of the mindset that like you have one life to live and you should do and get the things that you know make you happy and that you desire if you can afford them and if it's within your means yes but um also i'm also the same mindset that like when you die you can't take any of this with you like when i die i'm not gonna be buried with my car like my vehicle and my purse and i'm not gonna be buried with um 
you know all my jewelry and all this all this kind of stuff like I can't take any of that with me so why am I and if my ultimate goal is like life after this because um, that's what I believe in if that's my goal being so focused hyper fixated on gimme 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 down here distracts me from my ultimate goal which is like seeing Jesus <laughs> like seeing the Lord at the end of the day like that is my goal and I do believe that like he allows us to be here to live a life that we want and that he desires for us to have because you know his word says no one knows the plans that I have for you right like plans for hope and a future so I don't believe he put me down here to be like so oh y'all got that stuff like I don't need that like no I don't think he put me down there for that but down here for that but I do think that like he wants you to have those things that you desire and also sometimes having those things can be a testimony to others that you can do it so I don't know I'm just talking right now but I hope this all makes sense and if you are somebody who's like struggling with that kind of like comparison thing and feeling like you need things that other people have I hope that this kind of helps you a little bit because I keep seeing that around and also the TikTok one of the TikToks I saw the girl was also comparing herself like in looks wise right to women in Atlanta and she was saying that um and I don't want to include the TikTok because I don't want you know like it was her being vulnerable and talking about her struggles so I don't want this to be like a look at what she said y'all type of thing because I appreciated her being vulnerable and honest but she was saying that you know sometimes she will look at the women around Atlanta and she feels um a little insecure because she doesn't you know have certain looks that those women have and I get it I get it like certain body types um different things aesthetics um and so I get it but also like you just have to stay true to you and I think that if you like you at the end of the day that's all that matters it doesn't matter if the men in Atlanta or the city of Atlanta thinks that you are desirable if you like you you will find your tribe and do you boo do you